So what was it when things were happening first and Jamie was having, you know, kind of more of like an emotional connection with somebody else? In what ways did you take that personally? How did that feel like that it was something against you? Um, it felt like uh, now you have a boyfriend. Mm. Now I feel threatened. Mm. I don't feel as safe. I don't feel as, um, I don't feel trusting. Mm. I don't trust this. I don't trust this situation. I felt threatened. Totally. Like as yeah. if like you weren't, as if maybe there was something that wasn't enough about you emotionally that then he's seeking something out elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. There was some of that too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you, uh, can I, can I make a note that's possibly true? Possibly uh, not. Uh, you correct uh, me if I'm uh, wrong. Uh, uh, <laughs> but when you thought I was, uh, so this guy and I met at a club, mm -hmm. Alec actually Oh, here's, told the, here's us, the tricky part. Told us to start making out for him. <laughs> so it's his I have, fucking fault. Yeah, when I get drunk, what you I'm, did. when I get drunk, Matt, you've never seen this part of me. Like, I will drag you around the club and I'll go, just make out with him. Yeah. Like, I'll just like, yeah. Bossy I'm, bottoms uh, in town. <laughs> bossy bottoms. <laughs> bossy bottoms. Um, so he So has, I didn't think that was going to turn into anything. Well, you know, I've, we, uh, we've, let's see, for several years now, been making out with people in clubs in front of each other and it's no big deal. But he he wanted us to, and then I was like, oh, this is good. So we went to a uh, corner and made out like all night. Uh, and then we exchanged numbers. And he There's was nothing like a good kiss, huh? Oh, like when you oh, wow. can just melt into yeah, each other and it's yeah. just so Or passionate. eating eating someone's face. That's right, there you go, full uh, circle. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, then we got together and I had to travel. He didn't live far, but I don't want to give too much away, but he didn't yeah. live far, but like, you know, an hour and a half away. Mm -hmm. So I traveled and saw him for a day and had sex. And I think Alec, correct me if I'm wrong, because I saw this and felt this change. He was cool. Like, yeah, go have your sex date or whatever. But when I came back and said, I had so much fun. It was different. I want to, I want to see him again. It like, felt different. Like we had the best day together oh. and just explaining the things we did. It was like a little on the romantic like side. Like you I could, could feel, feel like he the, had a, you could feel he had a little crush. Beyond that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Beyond that. Because yeah. I, because I do know him so well. Got it. He was, he was a little lost in it. Yeah. He was yeah. really kind of, um, he had a, he had a love tsunami and I, I and I could see it and I could sense it. And, and I was, what was different was because I'd been here before, I made a promise to myself to be totally honest and totally not go ahead with anything I wasn't cool with. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest problem in my relationship before in my college relationship was, I, 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 but the number of things that were different was that my gut feeling, my baseline response was I'm not okay with this. Yeah. And I went ahead with it anyway because I didn't want to be the bad guy. Oh, uh, that was a bit of your people pleasing coming in, right? I didn't want to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in this was like everything in me was like my baseline response was I'm not cool with this. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it was problematic. But uh, we kept, uh, I kept seeing him because we didn't really have the no, you can't um, a conversation, you know, and, right. uh, then we had to, after a certain amount of time, come to a conclusion together that this was not working. And yeah, then I was in it and it was hard and messy and horrible. Cause I liked this person mm -hmm. and it was just so complicated. Yeah. And then he had to break up with him and then he had to mope around the house for like, however long. Uh -huh. And it's like, and then my resentment was like, I'm not going to talk you through your breakup with your boyfriend. Right. Right. You know, I'm not here to kind yeah. of like, and you know, I really resented it to the point of we became, it turned us, it turned me into a different person in terms of who we are as a couple. Yeah. Because who we are as a couple, I'm always like, what do you need? What can I do? What's right. missing here? Right. How can I, how can I help? How can I assist you? And this was something that came into our lives that I was like, not only do I not want to help you, I don't care. I don't, yeah. this isn't something I wasn't, I didn't respect it. I didn't feel good about it. Yeah. yeah. That was, there are times where we get uh, like, not not that we would break up, but closer to breaking up. And that was definitely one of the closest yeah, we had I mean, gotten. I said, I said to Jamie one time, uh, and this is part of the reason why we quit drinking together is I said, uh, the only way I could ever see myself breaking up with you is if I felt like I didn't have respect for you. 
Right. If I lost respect for you. Yeah. And my drinking had turned me into something that he had some somebody that he had a little less respect for. Uh -huh. And this whole situation was turning him to somebody that I didn't want to be with. Right. How are so how are you defining in this context? How are you defining respect? Like, what was it that was uh, the respect that was being lost here? just esteemable, kind of looking at him and going, I, I like you, I like who you are, I like your ethos, I like who you're about. Right. And and there's something about the, the emotional infidelity or the emotional stepping out that felt so, um, this is, I'm just talking about my experience, I'm gonna use my I That's statements. A, yeah. Uh -huh. I felt that our experience and our years together were being disregarded. Uh, okay. that our, our relationship was like because because I'm not a polyamorous person right I was like how could you do that to us how could you do that to what we have right and that's what you said you know kind of at the start of this was that you were taking it personally that it yeah. that it felt like it was an attack on you or the yeah. relationship between and the us. two of you yeah 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 what was it that inevitably got you to a point where you then shifted that perspective where you understood that this wasn't about you I never got to that point no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing here now? Is that what we're working on? Okay, got it. 